Hello everybody, welcome back to our plays, and uh, not a welcome back to Skyrim, as you might be able to tell from the screen in front of you. See, I was playing Skyrim, and was recording it, but half the time I found myself not actually saying anything when I was recording, because I was getting that into playing it, because it's a lot of fun and dragon fights are hard. So instead, I decided that I had got a game just sat collecting dust pretty much I got us dead excited about and this is Subnautica uh, I first encountered it ooh, donkeys ago when Neebs Gaming did the dramatization of it and I thought it looked amazing and I wanted to get it but I never had a computer that was uh, capable of running it to its full potential so when it came out on console I was very happy about that and I figure that this is as good a time as any to start playing it and to start recording it. Um, this is the first time I've even had the disc in the console. Well, you'll either be learning along with me if you've not seen it before, or you'll be screaming at me because I'm playing it really badly. Either way, let's go. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'll go for freedom. Yeah, I'll go for freedom. I want the story, but I don't want... I want the story, but I don't want all the survival things initially. I'll get to that on a later playthrough. Well then. I believe the phrase is buggered. Hmm. Not the most ideal start to a game. Loading screens are already full. Head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. <coughs> this PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay, that's cool. So, everything has failed. I'm floating in a uh, escape pod. And everything else is pretty much buggered. Uh, do I have a repair tool? Oh, I have a fabricator. What can I make with a fabricator? Absolutely nothing. Awesome. Right, so what have we got here? Let's see escape pod. Oh, medical kit fabricator. Oh, first aid kit. Well, lovely. I can't assign that a quick start. Alright. Fine. Right, what else have we got? Food, water, and flares. Okay. I'll take all of them for the time being. I can't do anything with Fabricator. That needs a repair tool. That I don't have yet. And everything else is pretty much Radio doesn't work. Up we go. Then. That flying stingray. Oh, yes. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Everyone died. I'm the only person that can find it at the minute. Groovy. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. That's interesting. Right, I wonder what we can do with that. 
What can you make with copper? Nothing there. Copper art. Oh, I can make a battery. I can make half a battery. <laughs> uh, personal tools. Need lots of things for repair tools. Okay. Don't know how to make any of them yet. Okie doke. Open the storage container. Let's put the copper R in. I'm going to save the first aid kit until I actually get low on health. Right. Let's have a look and see what I'm actually supposed to do here. Oh, I've got my blueprints here, so I don't even need to go back and see what I need to use stuff for. That's cool. Some law. If you're reading this and you were survived an emergency evacuation of the capital class ship equipped with Altera technology, congratulations, the hard part is over. Your PDA is automatically rebooted in emergency mode. This operating system has one directive to keep you alive on hostile alien world. If that is not possible, it will alert salvage teams to the location of your remains. <laughs> it features full monitoring of vital signs and timely survival advice. Blueprints are fabricating a range of essential survival equipment tailored to your environment. Onboard camera, microphone and OCR technology for short range situational analysis and cross compatibility with all Altera compliant products. Please note your personal and work files have been encrypted and may be retrieved at a later date by a licensed engineer. Cool. So what's on the survival checklist? I mean it's the first aid if required. Well we talked about that. Take inventory of available materials and supplies and decide on rations. Survey the environment for threats and resources. Construct necessary survival equipment using a life pod fabricator. That's what all the blueprints are for. Check life pod for damage and repair as necessary. Uh, I think it said it was all okay. Um, well, apart from the stuff inside. Broadcast local distress signal using life pod short range radio so the repair tool is of thing. Uh, locate other survivors using the line of sight or the radio. Find or construct a more permanent habitat. Uh, in the middle of the sea. Uh, maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. That's all well and good, but I'm fairly sure cabin fever might dig in. If this information is meant a general guide. In the first instance, you should always follow the advice of your PDA, which is taking your particular circumstances into account. That's a smart OS. Then. Uh, damage to your PDA's hard drive has corrupted approximately 8% of stored survival blueprints. Wonderful. Blueprints may be re reacquired by scanning a salvage technology using the handheld scanner or by downloading plans from a shipboard data box. In the circumstances, these assets will most likely be found amongst wreckage from the Aurora. Cool. Scanner. Battery and titanium. How do I make a battery? Electronics. Battery. Acid mushroom and copper ore. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. So, I'd say finding acid mushrooms is of importance, as is finding titanium. Hey, look, it's acid mushroom. Let's go up. Frame rate. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. That's not ideal. Okay, so I can make a battery. So, I've got battery, I need titanium. Ooh, night time. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, it's already a pretty game. Ooh, you bugger. You're big. Okay, I'm going to need a scanner before I do anything with the fish. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I just discovered that you can chuck peepers back. And that's awesome. Well, I feel like some of the, giving off that much light at night should probably be should probably be able to use as a flashlight. Metal salvage that looks useful. See glide fragment. I need to scan that. Okay, yes, I get it. I get it. I get it. There we go. Right, I need to ignore the mushrooms and look for copper or quartz or things like that but it's good I like that you are a big fish I'm staying away from you so as if you were playing survival mode you'd have the big thing of I suppose I best actually really check you know, try and catch some fish and stay alive oh the peepers are tiny oh sure yeah yeah I forgot they existed 
Now I'll use the med kit. There we go. Honestly, one of the strangest things about this game is just being able to play it after so long of watching it and going, that's really cool. I'd like to play that. New creature discovered. Okay. Life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Okay, so what can I do with a bladder fish? Oh, okay. You can go back for now. I've learned about you. So I need resources. I have a feeling that's going to involve a deeper dive. That's salvage. I'll do. Wow, it really does not like coming out of the sea. Okay, let's go and see what I can do with metal salvage. Metal salvage is used titanium, which makes things switch opens up a lot of things for me. Ah, oh, that's an air bladder. Cool! So I can make my scanner now. Which is pretty sweet. Which is marvellous. Thought myself some more titanium. Okay, O2 tank sounds very useful. So I'll be doing that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that as well. That sounds really useful. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. This game is so goddamn cool. And I'll deploy it. Doesn't seem like it's floating, I'll be honest. Yes. Oh, this is awesome. I've lost my I've lost my locker. Gonna need to make some power cells soon. Okay, that means I need to make some batteries. For the sake it's just respawn, that's nice. I don't wanna open it. I wanna pack it. can you not can't pick it up. Can't pick it up when you got stuff in it. That's not entirely useful, but okay. Totally jumped when that came at me then. Oh, there was something I wanted to scan that was around here. There we go, I've learned how to see glide. See, there remains the issue that I've still only found like one bit of. Copper, hello. More metal salvage, thank you very much. That seems like a death trap. Oh shit. Sugar, 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 sugar. Yeah, that wasn't great. It's nice giving me some sulfur. I believe when I'm in my thing, I don't lose. I do lose oxygen when I'm in my PDA. How do I make silicon rubber? Creep vine seed cluster. I've not seen a single creep vine yet. Oh man, it really does not like you going back up to the surface. This is a very definite plant, this should be something. Oh, and you must be somewhere. Let's see what I can make from that search out, so... Got some salvage, so I can make some titanium. I can't make that yet. Got some silver. Make flares if I'm so desire. Hmm. Yes, I need some silicon. Which means I need some creep vine. I'll be honest, I have no idea where to get creep vine from. To be fair, honest, I have no idea what creep vine looks like. I know, if anyone's watching this, you're going to be screaming at me for not diving deeper and that, but I'm just trying to get grips on the game. Right, it's daytime, I can see a bit better now. Might be able to find something.
Okay, why is the music playing? I feel like I was on something there. Oh, you are, but you're not attacking me, so that's cool. I'm stuck. No, I'm not. Wee. I don't know. I felt like I was onto something then, and then I had to run away. I feel like creep vines should be something that like creep on the side of rocks. Oh, son of a bitch! Was I down here? Should I have been going to the Aurora? Oh, I feel like I should have been going to the Aurora. Creep vines by any chance? Yeah, just yeah, that, that that would make sense, wouldn't it? Would that be a seed cluster? Yeah. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Okay, so I've sort of realised that I probably should have been going to that the Aurora and it's probably a bit late now but I found some great vines and I have the stuff to make my repair tool which is nice right, so I have the stuff to make silicon Ooh, I can do that Draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. That's probably fair. Repair tool. Awesome, I think that'll probably do for it. Survival knife. Yeah, go on. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre. On Braxis Prime, the knife remains the only exceptional. Right, so. Repair tool. Repair. Coming, is there? What's the need to fix? Oh, yeah. I'll check that out in a second. We've got another. Excellent! Uh, geological data. Free ocean planet. Nitro oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, ex nitrogen. Okay. Extensive battery. Yes, there is. May support the vine. Nice. Uh, water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Yeah. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus. Uh, this is like going into a radiation zone without a hazmat suit, isn't it? Okay, so everything's working. Nothing else. Yeah. Okay. The radio's done what it's going to do then. I feel like if I go close to that, it's just going to blow up now. But also, I want to find out if it will. 
Oh no, it's a big ship. But as I'm swimming closer to it, it isn't particularly getting bigger. How far away am I from my thing there? 180. If I keep going towards it. I suppose it is. It's taking up more of the screen now. I feel like if it was going to... It's definitely been longer than two hours. So, maybe it's not going to blow up. Uh, So the Aurora was off limits. <laughs> That's nice. That that that's good. I get the feeling I'm going to need that as I'm now swimming in a green sea. I just see what the radiation suit actually needs. Congratulations, survivor! You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by five hundred percent. I'm glad. That swimming was your favorite activity. <laughs> sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Right, where are we? Radiation suit. Fiber mesh and lead. That's more stuff I haven't seen yet. Well, it's now dark and the aurora is lighting up the night sky. And I'm going to need to build a radiation suit to go anywhere near it. I think we'll call this a part. So my first impressions are, it's really pretty. It is a really pretty game. Like, it was made, I don't know. I should probably look up and research, but like it came into my consciousness about four years ago, I think. And it's clearly been ported, but it works really well. It's nice, there's no obvious... At least not in the mode I'm playing, and in survival mode you've got the quests, or I suppose the goals of staying fed and staying watered and that. But with the way I've started it, it's just nice to go and explore. And no, it's not just an exploration, there is still stuff that will kill you. Like there was a mode dedicated to a one life thing as well and I reckon that would be fun when you know the game well enough. I've sort of not wanted to stray too far away from the life pod which means that I've sort of restricted myself on what I've found yet. I imagine as I explore more I'll find more things. Oh, oh, it's, oh it's lovely. There are issues with it such as frame drops and stuff like that. It really doesn't like you coming out of the water sometimes but it's just fun. It's fun, you're going around, you've got to get the repair tool to fix the live pod. You've got to find the stuff to make it. You've got to find the stuff to make all the things you'll need. Ooh, we've got a radio message. Receiving pre-recorded distress call, laying back. This is live pod three, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Is that a quest objective? Peak manager. There, there we go. Crew reported their sea glide damage. Uh, let's make that one yellow. Yeah, it's fun and it's enjoyable. And initially, there's not a huge amount to it. You go and collect things to make things, and you scan things. I get the feeling that I probably should have gone near the Aurora much sooner to kick off the questy stuff because now I know it's there I'm going to be a bit less why am I collecting 500 acid mushrooms and I'll be more like yes you've mentioned this so this probably seems plot critical so I will be back with this definitely it's been a lot of fun if that was a very quick night it's been a lot of fun we're going 400 meters that way next time thank you very much for watching and taking it in it's been really fun on a first player of Subnautica I can't wait to try it again find me on Twitter I get your body B. I am back there that is G-E-T-Y-R-B-O-D-Y-B-E-A-T. I will spell it on the screen for you. Same on Instagram. Uh, Lasting Passions Design and Photography on Facebook is where I share these videos. And lastingpassions.co.uk is where you can find my design and photography stuff. If you want to hire me to create things for you, that would be swell. That would be grand. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.